Hey what's up everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be a tutorial on Surfer SEO. Essentially I'll be breaking down what is Surfer SEO as a software, navigating the Surfer SEO interface, using the keyword research tool and more. So without much further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting with what is Surfer SEO? So for those that don't know, Surfer SEO is a powerful software tool that helps to perform detailed keyword research, generate optimized content, and rank higher in Google search results. It gives you insight into things like search volume, keyword difficulty, competitor sites, and more. And this allows you to make data-driven decisions about what content to create and how to structure it for the best chance of ranking well and driving organic traffic. So in other words, Surfer takes a lot of the guesswork out of SEO and content optimization. You don't have to worry so much about what keywords to target or how to format your content properly. It handles that for you based on its in-depth analysis. And beyond just suggesting keywords and providing content guidelines, Surfer also has an AI assistant that can auto-generate full articles for you on any topic. And this saves a ton of time and effort when producing new content for your site on an ongoing basis. So in a nutshell, if ranking higher in Google and getting more organic traffic is your goal, then Surfer SEO can be an invaluable asset for your online business. Okay, so now that we know what Surfer is and why it can be useful, let me give you a quick tour of the interface before we dive into the keyword tools. Once you log into your Surfer account, you will see the main dashboard with a few key sections. Onto the left side, here we have the navigation menu. And this allows quick access to things like keywords, content, rankings, links, and your account settings. In the middle, you will see an overview showing keyword and ranking progress over time. And below that are widgets highlighting the opportunities like showing your top ranking keywords or keywords with declining rankings, etc. And on the right side, you can see your site profiles where you can add and manage all the sites that you want to track and work on. This clean, straightforward interface makes it very easy to find what you need and quickly analyze how your sites are performing. Now, the two main areas that we'll focus on today are the keywords and content. So let's go ahead and check out those two sections. Starting with the keyword research. Before creating any new content, you need to know what keywords and topics you should be targeting. Surface Keyword Research gives you exactly that. Within minutes, you can discover dozens of relevant keyword and topic opportunities to write about. And it's very useful whether you already have some article ideas in mind or need help coming up with concepts from scratch. The data will give you plenty of options. So to start, we simply type a relevant root keyword into the search bar. And after typing that in, I hit enter to run the keyword analysis. The tool is now scanning its database, looking at search volumes, compared to sites, and associated keywords to generate a full report. And there you go, now if you scroll down to the keyword section, you will get a nice list of related terms sorted by search volume and relevance to our root keyword. And as expected, we can see a lot of related keywords and other terms. But that's not all, we will also see some other tangents related to your keywords, which are very useful stuff that can spark all kinds of content ideas. Now at this point, you would typically dig into several keywords in the list to further evaluate the difficulty or competition and whether it is a good fit for your site or not. So after that, we would have to jump into the content creation stage for the chosen keyword. And for that, you just want to click on the create button for that role. And now we transition into the surface content editor. Once a piece of content is generated, the editor provides us detailed guidelines and tools for structuring an article that has all the right optimization marks for that target keyword. And you can see here on the right, we have the content outline, expected length, headings to be used, paragraphs, images to include, all based on an analysis of current top ranking pages. So if you follow these instructions, you've essentially matched what Google wants to see in content for that keyword. The tool also automatically populates relevant topics, questions, and terms that you should work into the copy for optimal SEO value. And since Google's algorithm weighs authority and trust quite heavily now, it's imperative that you model your content based on established sites in your niche. And that's exactly what the competitor panel helps you do. It identifies five of the highest ranking domains for your target keyword and lets you view details about their content structure and optimization tactics. And with that, you can dig into things like their page length and formatting, what supporting keywords they rank for, how much domain authority they have, and the number of referral domains linking to them. And this intel should strongly influence how you shape content to match or outperform them. For example, if three out of your five competitors have 1500 plus word articles, 70 headings, 40 images, etc., then you need to aim for at least that much to compete. 
Now, without these sorts of insights, creating SEO content can be frustrating since you never really know if you're properly optimized until months later when rankings do or do not happen. But having Surfer's full competitive analysis and content blueprint when you start, that takes away all the guesswork so you can be confident that your content ticks all of the boxes immediately. So now with guidelines and data in place, you can jump into actually writing and optimizing the article. And my own favorite way to build out posts is using Surfer's integration with a complementary tool called Jasper. If you don't know Jasper already, it's an AI content writer that generates full draft posts on any topic at the push of a button. And this allows me to knock out a complete first pass of an article extremely quickly. And then you take that auto-generated draft and optimize it using Surfer's recommendations. Now, in addition to dropping in target terms, you also want to watch your overall word count and metrics. Surfer sets a guideline of 1100 to 1300 words, so you need to stay in that range for full optimization points. And that's essentially everything that you need to know to getting started with Surfer SEO for both keyword research as well as crafting a high quality on page content around your terms. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comment section down below if you have any other questions on the topic. And if you found today's video to be helpful or informative to watch, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.